The, the mystery of, of a moment and is so um, amazing. I think that honesty is uh, empathetic. If you're honest about your, your perception and the way we think and the way we see, uh, guide each other. I'm tired of, uh, of art that propagates um, uh, the grotesque or the unfortunate elements of, of what make us human and, and make those unfortunate elements glorified. It's not that I try to glorify the positive elements either, but I think that there's an openness that I want uh, in the way and the people that I choose and, and the way I depict the human image. So for example, the Superman that I chose, um, I didn't want someone who was um, uh, overtly um, obese or overtly so thin or grotesque that he would become a caricature, you know. Uh, but I wanted someone who um, was just someone. You know, so, um, and I didn't want a Superman either, you know, I didn't want a, an overt Superman hero, I, you know, I didn't, so I just wanted someone. It has a lot to do really with um, masculinity and femininity and um, um, empowerment and um, the idea of um, what's strong and what's weak, and what's heavy and what's, what's light, what's buoyant. And so, and the play of, of those, these things, these characteristics, uh, and, and the turning around of, of, of some things, the switching of roles. And, and so um, the, way, uh, the way that came to mind was that there's, when I started painting uh, even light, the idea that light itself or it can, can in many ways be associated with uh, a narrative or a metaphor. So the, um, a warm light uh, as opposed to a cool light. Uh, the idea that warm, a warm light is something that emanates um, as an interior light, uh, so it's incandescent. Uh, it starts its inside and it, it, it's from, to the outside. And a cool light com is from the atmosphere, it comes into the, from a window. So it's from the outside and comes inside. And one is blue, one is warm. And so, so the, the source of the light, in a way, in and of itself can become a, a metaphor of, of masculinity and femininity. So the idea of, of youth and, and movement or youth without a home or, or a place of their own uh, is extremely difficult. The thing that I'm feeling or that there's something about, um, of, um, about change and that the, the change is is something that's a, a, about instability, you know, uh, among the youth. So there's this um, this element of of movement and, and there's something vaporous about the, the, the atmosphere that I'm trying to get at. I always had a pencil and always drew. Um, I was an only child and. Um, I had no brothers and sisters, and we had no video games, and you know we were uh, pretty much on our own. So I have very early memories of going to work with my father, and my father sold produce, and uh, I would sit in the corner in a crate and, and draw. My mom had me enrolled at, over at the Museum of Modern Art when I was about five years old, five or six, taking classes there. Um, uh, we'd go on the subway and spend days at the Metropolitan Museum, and I would sit and draw the Knights in Armor at the Metropolitan Museum. Um, and uh, back then, and I, I mean, the Knights in Armor at the Met were were incredibly um, powerful and very theatrical as well. In a way, I could say that that, that still stayed with me because I'm, I'm very interested in uh, in um, sort of theater and the idea of, of art having a theatrical impulse. It was never really a choice of mine. It was just something I did. Uh, 
and uh, it, well, it, there was no moment of um, no cathartic moment uh, that 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 led me to paint and draw. Um, it was it was just something I did, and uh, I, I I I can't do anything else very well. So it's, it's <laughs> I mean you know hopefully I, I I can paint and draw pretty good.